What's up YouTube? It's your boy Salty Redcorn and I am back with another ill-prepared knife video yet again. So today I want to talk about the ATFK from Paragon Knives. This is the American Tactical Fighting Knife. Okay, This knife isn't actually made by Paragon Knives. This is made by a company called Masters of Defense that were popular 20 years ago. So this knife is brand new old stock. I think the guys over at Paragon Knives found some of these in somebody's grandma's basement kicking around under some old dusty home and garden magazines or something. Who knows? But very, very happy that they found them because now they are in the hands of me and my enthusiast friends. So let's talk a little bit about this knife. This is a side opening automatic knife. This knife is actually also available in a manual version. Let's talk about the action. This action is crazy. This thing fires super, super hard. Very comparable to Protex. And even stronger, I think, in some uh, instance. The knife has thumb studs. Although they're useless on this version, they do make sense on the manual version. But on both versions, they act as a blade stop, which is very, very good. And it works well. This blade has a slight recurve, but I like the blade shape and definitely is very, very nice. It has a fuller and some very good aggressive jimping on the top as well as the rest of the handle. I also like how the back of the handle has a drain hole, so to speak, so pocket lint, dirt, and whatever other crap can find its way out of there. 154 CM blade seal. I think we all know that that's a tried and true, very, very good blade steel. Protec uses a lot of it. Microtech used to use a lot of it very early on, so it's a very good blade steel, and I'm down with it. Okay, this knife has some grip tape texturing on the handle, which some people don't like, but I am very, very into it. Uh, it matches some of my firearms, and I just like the texturing. I like to know that it's in my hand, and I like to have a firm grip. Um, so. I'll put the specs up on the screen right now so you guys can check it out and get a size comparison. I don't have anything in my pocket right now to compare it to because I'm carrying this bad boy. I really like it a lot. I like the blade shape. The swedge is absolutely beautiful. This knife is executed very well. The fit and finish is top notch. The pocket clip. This pocket clip was probably very hot 20 years ago. Now most people want a deep carry clip. But here's my argument for that, okay? This knife, in my opinion, is designed to be a military grade deployment knife. You don't need a deep carry pocket clip and it even can hinder you from pulling your knife out. So what I mean by that is that the fact that you have this much knife sticking out of the top of your pocket makes it that much easier to grab when you need it. Also, it has a lanyard hole to extend that even more. So you could have something really to grip onto Get it out fast when you need to use it. So that's how I feel about that. I like how they continue the jimping all the way down to the back and I like the shape of the handle. And I can't say enough how powerful the spring is. I mean, this is crazy, crazy, crazy. And that also is another one of my arguments. Uh, some people like hard springs, some people don't, but again, this knife is made, in my opinion, to be a military grade knife. So any dirt and sand lint that you do get in there, this spring is gonna overpower it, crunch it all up, and you're gonna get your knife open and you're gonna uh, be able to use it however you need. All right, so um, if you wanna get one of these knives, which you probably do, go to AshevilleSteel.com Look on the site and see what they got. Also, just shoot them an email if you have something specific because they're very good. They're going to get back to you. They're going to give you an honest opinion and a very, very good answer. Okay. Also, you can hit them up on Instagram. Go find them on Instagram. Go look up Paragon Knives on Instagram. Contact him. Get him in the DMs. He's going to show you all the knives he's got. He's going to let you know what you can and what you can't buy. Right. I don't think these are going to last very long because these knives are highly collectible and he's offering them at a very competitive price. Um, they also haven't been available up until now. So keep that in mind. If you like watching Brothers of the Knives, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what's going on, how I'm doing. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.